Wow. Beyond believable, if you own a John Deere 2025R tractor and you want to replace the battery, you know what you have to do to this thing? You're supposed to take this whole front assembly apart to get that battery out. Beyond believable. I mean, I don't know. This It's hard to believe, but I'm not lying to you. In incredible. Let's see if I can outsmart the engineers. All right, if anybody's following my video here, here you go. So I just unscrewed the nuts for all four of these studs. Now this whole metal assembly comes out. You gotta pull this whole metal frame out, always this won't pop out. All right, when you pull this out, don't lose your little springs. There's springs on both sides. There's four springs. So don't lose these little things here. So you gotta pull the whole bracket off. And you open this whole thing up. Now, I borderline say I'll have to take these studs out as well. <laughs> I'll be amazed if I don't have to do that. Yikes. Having a speed gun ratchet, 90 degree, really plays off. Pays off 10 uh, millimeter socket. All right, well, guess what? These studs have to come out. Now, somebody could say, why don't you just take your grinder and narrow it down? You could, but if you ever have to replace these studs, it'd be a pain to get them out, but let's see if I can outsmart the name engineers. All right, I'm putting two nuts back to back. And let's see what happens here. Let's see if this thing starts moving. Yep, it's coming out. So that's what you do to get rid of these studs right here. This is a little trick. I think this will save you a lot of work of taking this whole front. They're saying you have to take this whole front assembly, this whole front cowl, you know, the engine, off this unit to get to the battery. Screw that. Take the lights out. Take these studs out. If you have that special tool, I'm sure it's a special like Torx, um, I guess female style to vet that, and you'd be bing bam done. All right, you have the right tools. Things can go a little faster for you. See here, look. See that? Bing bam done. All right, there you go. Battery's out. Big ass battery. And yeah, we put it back in, make sure cables aren't in the way and all that good stuff. So get this thing out of the way. Three year battery and it's dead. All right. Now, if you're really smart, uh, yeah, if you're really smart, yeah, who's smart? You'll start your tractor first before you put the whole thing back together and uh, make sure it runs. So if I was you, that's what I'd do first. Let's see what happens here. Turn the lights on was a problem. If you turn the lights on, the whole unit died. So there we go. Like that, huh? We'll just double check it. Turn it on. Okay, so now. So what I learned from a John Deere dealer was when you put a voltmeter on your old battery, when you check your tractor and it says like 12 volts as long as it's 11.8 or more you'll tend to think that the battery's okay but once you turn the ignition on what would happen is my old battery you go to like six to eight volts so that tells you the battery is probably at a bad cell and you need a whole new battery and anymore i think three years here's the dilemma you know we have units my tractors i got too much stuff so i can't put this on a, uh, a battery tender because they just have too much stuff. So if you had this thing in a battery tender, no doubt in my mind, you get five years out of these batteries. But with just things sitting all winter, you maybe get three years. So anyways, I'm going to put everything back together now. Just going to reverse all the uh, studs and uh, put them back in. And then I'll put my lights back in. And then I'll show you the final product and see how 
you can outsmart having to take this whole thing apart with just only having to take out the headlights. Once again, having the right tools, it's just huge. See that? I mean, bing, bam. Just, I mean, just having power tools is your advantage. See there? Just save so much time. And then I'll just bust these things loose for the nuts. And uh, there you go. All right, there you go. Now, putting this back together, make sure you get these tabs on this light assembly behind these little plastic molded things. Otherwise, you can do it wrong. And then don't tighten these bolts down all the way. These springs are here, so it just gets a little bit of vibration, I guess you could say, out of this thing here. So it kind of moves around a little bit. So there it is. Yeah, so uh, and if I were to take this thing to John Dealer, John Deere Dealer, I'm just saying, you know, this is a 2025R. Uh, model John Deere to 2020 and there's no doubt in my mind this thing's out of warranty so if I would have had this taken if I took this to the dealer come and got it between picking it up bringing it back at least a hundred dollar bill and then the battery they wanted close to two hundred dollars I got my battery for a hundred and thirty dollars and then their labor rate they charge you at least two hours I mean conservative so I would say the dealer did it three hundred. You'd be at five hundred dollars at least, if not more. All right, everybody. Hey, I hope this helps you maintain your John Deere. So I would think the two thousand series would be the same setup, regardless. And once again, they talk about taking apart this whole front grill out of this unit to get to the battery. Stupidest idea in the world, beyond believable. But that's just the way these engineers are. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching Ice Age TV. Stay tuned for more uh, how-to videos. God bless. Stay safe and stay tuned.